today I have an updated Abercrombie and Fitch jean try on guide. I filmed a jean guide like this I think it was two years ago already and it did pretty well so I recently picked up five new pairs of jeans from Abercrombie and I figured it was time to film an updated video on my new favorite pairs from Abercrombie and Fitch. I feel like Abercrombie has some of the best jeans out there right now and they also have so many different sizes, so many different lengths and they just have great options for denim. I want to keep the intro short and get right into the haul so I will have my sizing details in the description box as well as the links to everything down below. The first pair of jeans I'm starting with are my favorite pair from the entire haul and I had a really hard time picking my top pair because obviously I love every pair of jeans I'm showing you in this video but these take the cake because I had been on the hunt for a dark wash wide leg jean for quite some time and had been really struggling to find one that worked on me. I'm only 5'2", so a lot of the times wide leg jeans tend to just kind of drown me and never look that flattering. And then when I could find a pair that looked decent through the legs, the waist was always just way too big and it, nothing ever fit right. So when I tried these on, I was so happy because they have the wide leg and the waist on them, as you'll see, still remains really cinched in and really flattering. So for these jeans, I did go down one size. So I bought these that you're seeing on in a size 27 and I also went with the extra short length just because I liked where that length hit me a little bit better than with the short length that I originally purchased. I did originally purchase these in a size 28, which is my average jean size, and they looked great, but they felt just a little too big in the waist, so I did opt to go one size down, but I would definitely recommend trying your normal size, maybe if you can purchase the size down and just kind of seeing, because I think this is a pair that's a little bit trickier to size versus some of the other pairs I'm showing you. I love this dark denim wash and I can see it becoming a closet staple because it pairs so well with a white tee, white sneakers. I always like to make a note on the stretch of the denim and I just want to add that with this pair, there really isn't any give, any stretch. So if you usually like a little bit of a softer, stretchier denim, you might not like this pair. But if you want something a little more structured, I think that you would love the loose high rise jean. Next up we have the 90s Relax High Rise Jean. I bought these in a size 28 and these are my second favorite pair of jeans. These are ones that I actually ordered after I ordered all of the other jeans because I saw these on the Abercrombie website and I bought them right away. I have been wanting a light wash pair of jeans that has the matching denim buckle belt for so long. I have a Pinterest board of my favorite ways to style jeans and there was an outfit on there where this girl had light wash jeans with a matching denim belt and it was so cute and all of the pairs I found that came with with a matching belt were always hundreds and hundreds of dollars so when I saw these on the Abercrombie I went for it. I feel like the 90s relaxed style of jean from Abercrombie is one that I see talked a lot about online. My air just kicked on so I apologize if you can hear that in the background but I feel like I see the 90s relaxed high-rise jeans talked about a lot on social media and really hyped up and honestly now that I have a pair I see why jeans themselves are so flattering on but they're not uncomfortable and a lot of times I feel like jeans that really hug your figure and look great on tend to be uncomfortable to wear but these just have as the name implies a really relaxed feel to them and I cannot recommend these enough thing I just have to say is that I hope the color on the screen is picking up as great as the shade is in person because this in my opinion is the exact color or the exact shade I want when I say I want a light wash jean. It is just perfect. Next up we have the 90 Slim Ultra High Rise Jean. If you are looking for a classic staple jean, this is going to be your go-to. I love this medium wash. It's almost picking up 
a little bit darker on camera but i promise you it is a medium wash compared to all of the other jeans in this haul the denim on this pair is a lot thinner and lighter so if you live somewhere really warm these might be your best bet because the denim is very breathable and really light i do also want to note that these jeans have a little bit of a stretch whereas the other ones are pretty structured so if you want a pair of denim that's a little bit lighter a little bit more breathable and has just a little bit of give to it i would definitely recommend you go with these i did actually size up one size for this pair and i went with a 29 because i originally bought these in a 28 and they fit fine and they looked really great but i just wanted a little bit of a more comfortable look to the jeans so i did opt to go one size up but you definitely could go true to size or if you want a little bit more of a relaxed feel i would recommend you go one size up I apologize if the lighting is different in these next few clips. I had to run out for a few hours this afternoon, so my filming ended up getting interrupted, and now I'm back, but I'm determined to finish this video, so we are doing it. The next pair of jeans I have are the 90s baggy low-rise jeans, and for this pair, I actually went up one size, so I got these in a 29. I originally bought these in a 28, and they were cute, but for this pair, I wanted a really, really oversized look and feel to the jeans. Like all the other jeans, they really don't have any stretch. The denim on these is pretty thick, and the other thing that I did want to mention is that these actually have buttons in the front as opposed to a zipper with certain pairs of jeans that are a little bit more of a relaxed or oversized style like this pair i really appreciate when they have buttons instead of a zipper because i always find that buttons on jeans especially when there's five buttons here that it really cinches in the waist and gives it a nice shape versus feeling like kind of awkward there so i recommend these jeans if you want an oversized pair the wash of these is also great and i'll make sure to leave all the wash details down below because i know when you go to abercrombie's website they actually have quite a few different wash ops what what wash options that's really hard to say so the last pair I have is the one and only pair of Curve Love jeans that I purchased from Abercrombie. I got these in a size 28 and I will just say that the Curve Love jeans fit very, very nicely. I believe that the difference from Curve Love to the regular fit is that the waist is a little tighter, but then there's more room in the butt and the thighs you can correct me if i'm wrong but i really love the fit of these as much as i do appreciate the curve love fit i don't find for me that it makes a ton of a difference it fits a little nicer but it's nothing that's drastic enough that i only want to buy curve love jeans versus the regular fit so what drew me to this pair as you'll see when it's on is that this style in particular has utility detailing down the front there's stitching and then pockets and the back of the jeans also has the lines down each leg and i love when jeans have detailing or something a little different because it elevates any simple outfit again like i mentioned with the other jeans just a basic white bodysuit and sneakers with this pair i think would be a really cute outfit there's not a whole lot more to say about this pair in particular but i did just want to note about the curve love that for me it doesn't make a huge difference if it does for you i would love to hear your comments down below and maybe you can help some other people out who are comparing those but thank you so much for watching my jean guide if you have any questions comment them down below or shoot me a message on my other social media channels i will have those linked down below with all of the jeans and i think that's it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye